Hi everyone, this is my mid-month reading for water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. I will be time stamping it below so that it's easy to, to go ahead and skip ahead. Um, I'm going to be looking at soulmate and twin flame relationships. I'm going to take a look at any action this person might be making towards you over the next couple weeks. Um, what they're feeling about you, what what they're thinking about right now, just a general look at your relationship. And again, this isn't going to resonate with anyone, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm sure I'll get specific messages for certain people as well that might not resonate with with, with everybody and might not might just resonate with one specific person that needs to hear that message. So keep that in mind. It's not always going to resonate. I was led to burn bay leaf, lemongrass, and catnip. So for my water signs, this might be energy that you need to connect with. If you have these herbs or you've recently bought these herbs as well, it might be saying, you know, it's time to do some rituals with them. Lemongrass is great for um, for pur purification, cleansing, healing. Catnip is great for love drawing rituals. It supposedly draws people to you the, the same way um, catnip draws in cats is, is the theory behind it. And bay leaves are great for manifesting your dreams. Um, you can take a bay leaf and write a wish down on it and burn it. And this is just, this is a really simple ritual. You know, you might want to do this with a moon cycle as well, but it's a pretty simple ritual. And supposedly, um, the louder it burns, the more you're, the more likely your, um, your wish will come true in a, in a relatively short period of time. So look at how it burns as well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Start with my Tarot de Luna deck. All right, for my viewers, for my viewers, what are their, their soulmates or twin flame? You know, this, this could be any soul connection. What are, for my viewers, what are their, their soulmates or their twin flames um, thinking and feeling right now? What kind of action are they going to be taking? What's, where is the relationship heading over the next couple weeks? What's going on with, for, with them? What's going on with... Oh, there we go. For my viewers, what, where is the relationship heading the next couple weeks? What kind of life changes can you guys expect over the next couple weeks? Oops, I think that was supposed to come up upright. I just got it the wrong way. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. We have Strength. And we have Six of Pentacles. All right. Starting out doing a general look ahead for all water signs, and then that's what I was led to do. I didn't expect to do that, but I just realized that's how I laid the cards out, so I guess that's what we're doing. <laughs> um, and after I do this, I'm going to go ahead and start with Cancer. Okay, so Pentacles, we have three of Pentacles here, ten of Pentacles, and six of Pentacles. And Pentacles are all about um, career, self-empowerment. Um, finances, you know, new jobs, leaving leaving old jobs and, and going on to something better. And th this reading is telling me that you're very in your, um, whether you're a male or female viewer, you're just, you're in that, that, that high priestess energy. You're, you're using your intuition. You're, you're focusing on finances. Um, you may have had some financial stress too, or, or stress at a job or stress, just trying to figure out your life path. And it's saying over the next couple of weeks, that's going to start clearing up as you become um, stronger and and as you're able to um, to see the bigger picture more. You know, th this might not just be finances. This could be any situation where you feel trapped, you feel like a victim, you you can't see a way out. But there is a way out. There is a way out, and that's that's coming the next couple of weeks. You know, the Three of Pentacles. It's it's all about wanting to to build. It's it's effort, it's teamwork, it's, you know, concentrating on the material world, concentrating on, you know, 
it, this could be like court battles, custody battles. This could be, you know, figuring out your career. This could be wanting to build a home or wanting to save money to buy a home or wanting to, you know, get into a better living situation. Just any any sort of thing like that. Um, because again, the Three of Pentacles is, is effort, it's teamwork, it's it's skills, it's endurance. You know, this person is a creator, they're a builder, they're a hard worker. They've studied hard for everything they have. They've, they've worked hard for everything they have. You know, this could be someone that's going to school too and, and it just seems like things are just dragging on and on and you know it, it's hard to it's hard to stay motivated but but you know this this reading is telling you it is it is worth staying motivated it, it is worth um basically staying on top of yourself and and being persistent um collaborating with others laying the groundwork for foundations you know if, if you have co-workers around if you have someone and maybe you're starting a project with someone and, and you need to talk to them if you're whether this is whether this is talking to, I feel talking to a lawyer for some of you for whatever reason, um, or it could also be, you know, just, just collaborating with other people on any sort of project, be it school, work, um, you know, if you need to get out of your current living situation, it's, it's it could be collaborating and asking around. Um, this is this is for entrepreneurs too. Just just getting out there and and manifesting your dreams, and and so there's this, this heavy energy the next couple of weeks of kind of, you know, you want this, you want to manifest your dreams, you want, um, you're trying to lay the groundwork, you're you're trying to to build the kind of life that you want in all areas of your life. You're you're trying to manifest the things that you want finally. But there's a bit of a struggle here with this Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is, it's all about being a prisoner of yourself. It's its your own shame, your own guilt, your own thoughts that are eating you up. It's um, its somewhat just kind of maybe maybe depression, just wanting to sleep, not wanting to see reality. Um, you know, this, I feel like, and I feel like this is kind of tied to this, where it's, it's like you you want this, you're trying to go after this, you're trying to go after this, this new start, this this stable foundation, um, you know, new work, new love, new, just new, you want new energy finally, but you're, you're having a hard time seeing how to get there. You're trying to figure that out. And, and this, so this, this eight of swords is, is someone who feels useless, powerless. Um, and, and they're just kind of wanting to sleep it all away. But, but the message here is, is, you know, wake up and, and look around you and, and balance and, um, you know, you, you don't need to sugarcoat everything and pretend like everything is all roses and daisies when it's not. But you also don't need to just shut down and not deal with any of it either. You know what I mean? It, this is about being, um, it's about just having having a, um, a balance of idealism and realism. You know what I mean? This person is like, I want to manifest these dreams. I want to, I want to do all these things. And then you know, there's there's all the this drama or these speed bumps and issues, and they just kind of just want to sleep and just not not see any of it, not deal with any of it. They just kind of kind of break down. And for those that have depression and anxiety, you know, that's that's normal. That happens, and and sometimes it's it's difficult to work through for sure. I, I totally I understand that completely. But the message of the Eight of Swords is. Is that everything is not lost you know there there is a way to get your power back there is a way out of solitude and and isolation and loneliness and all the things that you're going through um you know this is this is like an inner prison it's 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 needing to see things from this higher perspective this new angle but you're you're victimizing yourself it's overall, it's a really good message though, because it's saying, you know what, there is a way out. This isn't as, I mean, it's, it's might be bad. You might be in a pretty bad situation, but it's not quite as bad as, as you think it is. The solution, you know, it not, everything's not roses and daisies, like I said, but the solution is there. It might take some work to find it. And for some of you, if you're in a toxic relationship, you know, that, that solution could be you, move, you moving on from that relationship. Um, you know, the, the solution might not be easy, but there is a solution. There is a way out of this. You Maybe you need to cut some people out of your life. Maybe you need to cut some situations out of your life. Um, 
you know, I, I guess this would apply to people in bad living situations. It's like you just kind of want to shut down where in reality you should be out there looking for a new place and trying to save money and get yourself out of this. Um, same with custody situations where if you're in that, you might just be depressed and you're not wanting to to deal with anything. You know, maybe it's just it's all just so overwhelming and it's saying, you know, you, you got to wake up and look around and it, it's, it might be a fight. You you very well could have a battle coming ahead of you, but it's a battle that you need to fight. It's it's. It's um, it's a battle that you need to get through so that you can get yourself out of whatever is causing you to just want to sleep and just be depressed. You know what I mean? This is this is you need to get into this three pentacles energy where you're laying the foundations. You're you're being logical and emotional at the same time. You're balancing these energies. You're you know you're looking ahead. You're planning for the future and you're taking the steps to make your dreams manifest. It's it's possible. And then after, you know, if you're able to do that, if you're able to, to really find that balance and to really, start taking the steps necessary to, to better your life, even if it's just baby steps, you end up with the 10 of pentacles. You see this woman, see her, um, what does she have on? on a tree and she's got there's a I think a crow or a raven right there that may be symbolic to some of you actually two of them and they're holding red threads so again this this could be um like I was saying about connections with others because you know in the astral plane we all have these red threads that connect us to soulmates and twin flames and and so it's telling you to take a look at these red threads take a look at the the situations and the people that you have um, close emotional attachments to. Do you need to cut these red threads? Do you need to um, strengthen these red threads with certain people? Like, what what do you need to do? I mean, there's there's two birds on each side here, so it's it, I think it's it's telling you to think about that. I just got that for some of you. Um, the Ten of Pentacles, though, you know, see our crown. She's this is completion, abundance, wealth, accomplishment. This is family. This is. You know, this is just success. This is new territory. Let's see. What else can I get from this? And this is someone who's a provider, too. You know, this is someone who's going to provide for their family as well, which makes a lot of sense if this, you know, if this is your case, that it's someone wanting to provide for their family, but it's it's difficult right now, but it's it's like you find a way once you once you take the baby steps and you find this balance, you're gonna start finding that way. Um, and you don't have to be positive. Like you don't, it doesn't have to be all positive thinking. Like, no, it's not like that. It's just don't victimize yourself. You know what I mean? Like you can, you can get out of this energy and say, hey, like the situation really is shit right now. I don't know how to get out of this. Like I you know, let's, okay, let's, let's sit down and think, let's, let's make a plan. How do we get out of this? Like logically thinking about everything and taking the steps necessary to get out. You know what I mean? It's not all just like positive thinking, like, oh, everything's fine. Like, no, you, you have to have that balance. You have to look at how things really are, but you have to find a solution at the same time. Don't pretend like everything's okay. I think that's, that could be for a message for some of you. I feel like there's a couple of you that kind of go back and forth between like positive thinking and just shutting down depression not wanting to do any of it. And it's like, it's like, no, there's, there's a, there's a middle ground where you see the higher, the higher picture where you, um, you rise above it and, and you, you bring this strength in and, and, and you lay the groundwork, even if things are not the best right now, you, you start taking action towards getting out of it instead of just pretending like everything's okay and blinding yourself to, to what's really going on around you. And you, you know that you need to change the situation that you're in. Um, and again, for some of you, that is that might take some time. It, it might, but it's it's going to be worth it. You know, it's going to be worth putting that energy into it. Um, and and that's you know, if you do that, that's where you get to the ten of pentacles, completion, abundance, um, accomplishing your goals. This is this is wealth. So if you're in school and you're struggling, wondering if it's worth it, or you know, a career that you're pursuing, or just whatever it is that's going to take these take some take um some energy and effort to do, you know, this is, this is baby steps. This is taking more and more, doing more and more, um, at a time. This could be like weight loss goals. It's any sort of goal that you have like that. And then you have the 10 of pentacles here. Um, so, so you do within, and this is within the next couple of weeks too. So, so this is, I mean, it, it could go on, um, into June as well. It, the energy is, it, 
it's, it's kind of up to you how long it, I mean, it's, to a degree, it's up to you how long it takes. You know, it's, it's going to be different for everybody. But, um, and I, I do, I see it, I see it being a week for some of you. I see it being a month for others. You know, it's, it's, it, it's going to vary. It's, it's really going to vary. And there's always free will and there's always, you know, the choices that we make and the things that we say, our energy, all of that affects, um, timelines. You know what I mean? So right now it could be a three weeks away, but maybe you just feel inspired by this reading and, and you manifest it in a week and a half. Maybe you, you, you take action today when you see this and that changes the timeline and it, it manifests things faster. So keep in mind that timelines are always changing based on, um, our energy and, and other people's energy as well and their free will, their actions, behaviors, and ours as well. So, but, but regardless, you know, you do, this is successful. Regardless of how long it takes, this, this is something that's, that's, you know, is worth doing. I think you, you might have put off doing it because it was just too much, but it is worth doing. And then you have the strength card too, which is, you know, this is the energy you're stepping into. She's, look, she's got a lion next to her. She's, she's strong. She's powerful. I, I see her more relaxed too. Like this person is a little, I don't want to say harsher, but, but she's a little calmer. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's like the battle has been won so she can calm down just a little bit, but she's still not this person anymore. She's still become a new person. She's still hopeful and balanced. And she has this balance of emotion and logic and intuition. And she's strong, but soft at the same time. You know, this is, this is like Empress, High Priestess kind of energy, queen energy that you're, you're stepping into. And then we have the six, six of pentacles, which is harmony, wealth, and charity. It's, it's sharing. It's about giving and receiving um, this is gratitude, abundance. This is having a balance. So it's saying that either you shouldn't or you're not, you're already not going to um, let this win get to your head. You know, you're, you're a humble person. You're not going to, you're, you're going to give what you've received. You are a giver. You are a caring person. You're the kind of person that wants to make sure the people around you are, are doing well at all times. The Six of Pentacles, again, it's going to be different for everybody, but I, I feel like it means, um, well, it, it's getting back. So, you know, if, if you were just in, if you were talking to a lawyer and maybe they, they, you know, take it on a case by case basis. And if you win, you have to pay them back. This, this could be success um, as far as court issues go, but it's saying, you know, you, you are going to owe them a percentage. You are going to owe them money, or this could be, maybe you took out a loan or maybe you there's just something where you were given to and you have to give it back. It, it could be money. It could be borrowed money that you have to pay back. Um, it, it could be that, you know, maybe this could be a situation where your, your friends or family were supporting you and now it's time to give back. It's time to, you know, this is just, it's some sort of energy exchange and this could be getting back emotional or, or spiritual type of energy, or it could be money as well. That's, that's still the type of energy, you know? It may also be telling you that, you know, you're going to have to have strength and you're going to have to, to put some time and energy and maybe even some money, maybe some investments, um, into the situation in order to, to get to your 10 of pentacles. If this is a court case, it, it could be getting evidence, you know, you know, this is just giving and receiving. So it could be giving, you know, getting evidence that you need to um, use in court. Sorry, I'm just looking at it, trying to see what else I can get from it. Because I see, I feel a message here that's really important, but I'm just trying to, I'm trying to put my finger on it. Um... I mean, it's, it's, it's that energy. It's, it's just, you know, you might be going to court and you're putting this, you're putting this time and effort and energy in, um, getting evidence or whatnot, but, but you, you know, you're, you're getting something back in return or you, you put this money into this lawyer, but you're getting something back. It, it's given exchange, you know, 
or you know you 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 sacrifice the money to get out of your living situation but you get something emotionally fulfilling um in return or you know starting a business that type of thing where you're it's it's like you are investing you are making some sacrifices but you're getting so much back in return so it, it's worth it sorry for all the pauses i just i kept getting a message but i couldn't put my finger on what it was there was something else that card wanted to say maybe it will come to me later okay i'm gonna do go ahead and do cancer now Video is for my water signs. Okay. All right, so for cancers. For my cancer viewers, how is your, your, this could be an ex, this could be a current partner, how are your, your soulmate and your twin flame relationships changing over the next couple weeks? It's a question I tried to ask before, but the cards just kind of did what they wanted and gave us a, a general message. So let's try this again. <laughs> For my cancer viewers. What's your what's going on in your romantic relationships over the next couple of weeks? Starting your romantic relationships. I'm getting I've been getting it for a lot of people lately, but I'm getting that you need to go out more. You need to be social more. You need to actually go out and meet people. It's gonna make a difference. Okay, so cancers, what's going on in your romantic relationships? of sorts so just getting out of a heartbreaking um difficult stressful situation two of cups the devil reversed ace of wands reversed interesting and the page of swords i'm sure you can see that two of cups Better. Okay. So this is this is the energy of heartbreak. You know, you see this woman who's just she's she's got her, her chest is bleeding. She's just looking up. She's got bandages on. Like she just she looks like she's been punched. Even she's got one black eye, one um clear eye. It's it's almost like she might be fighting some of her own darkness. Where it, it's like this this pain is is kind of changing her and making someone that she doesn't want to be. And it's just this energy of heartbreak, of loss, of pain. This could be a relationship or, or a job or some type of situation where, you know, you gave it quite a bit of energy and it's, it's just not working out in the end. And you're, you're realizing that um, you're realizing that you need to move on from whatever this is, whether it's a friendship or a partner. You're just I, I think for most of you, it's probably a partner. Um, so this is loss. This is this is pain. This is um, just this this kind of darkness that you're getting through right now, over the next couple of weeks. Um, especially you know right around this time period, the the 14th through the the 17th or 18th or so, where you're you're still in some pain. Um, you're still recovering. Maybe this was just a relationship where you were being ghosted or you were being ignored a lot or you maybe even an abusive relationship. Just something that you put a lot of energy into and you're realizing now it's just not going to work out. But you know you're you're growing and and you're you're letting it go finally at least, and then we have the two of cups. Ooh. The two of cups. I mean, I notice I, I read these intuitively, and I notice it's it's right here. I mean, I mean, I notice like the position where she's looking at the three of swords, and then we have one looking forward. So. I think this could be, I feel like it's at, at the very least a new soulmate and it, it could be, it could be two people actually. It could either be two new soulmates that are coming in within the next couple, two or three weeks, or I feel like for a lot of you, it might be, um, there's a little bit of a, a like a, this, you know, this is, this is a love offer. This is. This is, this is union. This is balance. This is, you know, a more peaceful relationship. This is a soulmate relationship. This is just, 
it, it, it's it's bringing two things together to become one. Um, and, and you know, this this could be business relationships or friendships for some of you. But I feel like this this card in this case, I think it's saying that you really have options. Um, you know, this this woman right here, this is a more nurturing and supportive and harmonious relationship. This is maybe a better option for you, but I feel like it's, you know, this see this woman looking to the past, she's looking to the three of swords, and I kind of take that in this reading to mean like for whoever broke your heart, you might have another chance with them. They they might in the next couple of weeks they they might come in with an apology or they if they've been ghosting you, maybe they'll they'll say Maybe a week later, they're going to finally say, hey, I've been busy. Sorry, I didn't get back to you. That kind of thing. But but do you want that? Do you want to do you really want to be this 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 woman looking back at the past at the three of swords? And again, this reading is for men or women. So please don't get caught up on um, on how I read it. It's just it's there's there's no gender here. It's just the energies. You know what I mean? If I say if I say man, sometimes I mean masculine energy and women might be feminine energy, but there's you can be anybody and be in that energy. So, so don't don't get too caught up on that. It's it's how it resonates. This could be the other person too. For all of you, it might not be you. It might be them. But 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 you know we have her looking at the three of swords. So it's like she's considering this. She's th this love offer might come in. This person might stop ghosting you. This person might um make some half-assed sort of apology for for their behavior. But do you want that or do you want to be this woman looking forward and and and, and looking ahead and, and not being stuck in the past and stuck, in, stuck on the way things used to be and how they could be and this and that, you know? Don't you want to be this woman who's looking forward, who's looking ahead of her, who's who's granted in the present moment and, and trying to manifest the kind of life that she wants and the kind of love she wants? So I feel like over the next two, three weeks or so, you are going to have this choice to make. Do you want to you want to get back with this 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 in this toxic friendship or relationship or this emotionally unavailable relationship or do you want to look forward and and go with this this new soulmate that's coming in um that will probably end up making you a lot happier than this person did so so love offers are are what's you know love offers are coming for you guys for sure so it's i mean it's it's a good it's a pretty good reading so far. It looks really good. Do I feel like this is also um, you finding your own balance? You know, we said we she had one one black eye where it's kind of like she was going towards the dark side a little bit there with with the pain that she's in, and it's you finding that balance of she's, it's a little bit more stable. She's stronger. She's this woman is very guarded, but she's not going full dark. You know what I mean? She's 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 trying to ground even though she's in this kind of serious um, position, she's still she's still trying to to balance everything out. The devil reversed is it's it's breaking free from restrictions. It's it's breaking free from all the things that are holding you back. And and this makes sense with this this pain and this all this frustration that you you experience um, right around this this time period or or give or take. You know, it's it's going to be different. The the this could be a week ago. It could be two weeks ago. It's, it's going to be different for everybody. It's how this reading resonates with you. Um, you know, sometimes I go back and read readings that were a couple weeks old and, and they resonate with me in that current moment. So it's, it, most people are going to be watching this when they need to watch it, when it's, when it's, when it's currently resonating with, with them, you know what I mean? So, so this is, this is you breaking free from, from restrictions, breaking free from all the things that were holding you back. For some of you, I feel like for most of you, it's love. But for some of you, this this might have been an addiction to 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 drugs, to alcohol. Um, I feel I feel weight loss for some of you, or there might have been an addiction to food, to sex, to something, some sort of unhealthy, um, something that was causing you pain, something that was weighing you down. And you know, you have the option here of going back to that, or you have the option of looking forward towards something better. And in, in cases of of love i mean this is for weight loss you know this this something better would be would be exercising and and dieting and and um and and taking the actions that you need to to improve your life for for love this is like okay you can go back to this toxic person or you have this new soulmate coming in that would probably be a much better option for you a much healthier option 
um, someone who who is grounded in the present moment, someone who is 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 balanced in the present moment. They're they're logical and they're emotional. They just they have a good balance. They're a strong person, you know. And you could have this much healthier relationship if you choose to. But again, the choice is yours. You stay stuck in what you're familiar with, this pain, or you go forward to something much better and much healthier for you. Um, and and so this this is kind of confirming that too with with the devil card reverse. This is. This is that moment where if it's an addiction, you know, you you choose um, recovery. You choose to take the energy and, and and take the steps to recover. If it's a toxic soulmate, you you choose to, um, you you might consider, you know, leaving this person for this for this better soulmate that's that's more that's um, more your level. Um, and and this is just this is being self aware. It's it's breaking those chains, breaking away from those things that have been. Um, holding you down, cutting out these addictions, these poor habits, cutting out these toxic people that for so long you had a hard time letting go of. Um, you're tired of running in circles. You, you need chains. You need to, you need change. Um, you need to break these, these, ch uh, these chains and it, it might be painful at first. It might be an adjustment period, but it's going to pay off for sure. It's, you know, this is, this is self in, in assessment too. This is, this is really being introspective and, and being honest with yourself about the things that need to change in your life and, and stepping into your power and, and breaking free from this, that old toxic energy or old toxic people, whatever the, the situation that was, that was stagnant and toxic. You're, you're becoming self-aware and, and you're, you're breaking free from it and you're setting boundaries and you're standing up for yourself and, and moving on with your life finally in a really positive way. And it's 31, 31, and 31 minutes and 31 seconds in. So for some of you, this, this new thing that's coming in um, could be a twin flame. So I didn't know what the Ace of Wands reverse meant because I don't usually read these reverse. I mean, I do a little bit, but, but I try to keep them upright for the most part. But the Ace of Wands reversed from what um, what I just read. It, it says it suggests that you can sense an idea emerging emerging from within, but an, are uncertain what form it will take or how you'll manifest it in the world. You may have energy and passion in spades, but you do not yet have a clear outlet to express them. You may be waiting for someone something else to happen before you pursue this idea. Or you may prefer to keep your idea private until your confidence kicks in. All of these wonderful ideas are bubbling up, but now you must find a way to harness this creative energy to set you up in the long term. Um, it also suggests that you're finding it difficult to define your purpose in life and what you want to create. You know, there might be a lack of direction. You might feel a little bit unmotivated, uninspired. You're just trying to figure things out. Um, trying to figure out what you want. And you need to focus on, on what your true passion is. Um, you know, don't work towards a goal that's not motivating you. Really take some time to complement, to, to contemplate and figure out what it is you want to achieve. There may be some frustrating delays. Um, you might feel impatient, especially if you're an action-oriented person. You might, you, you know, and you just started getting some momentum. It's, 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 it's taking the time to really manifest things in your life. Um, figuring out when the best time to move ahead is, but I feel like this is—I feel like this is kind of normal energy to have after this. You know, we just had a huge transformation. You just cut out something that was really toxic. You just broke free from these toxic chains, and you're choosing the the present moment. You're choosing this better energy, and and so you're gonna have some insecurities if you were just in an abusive or emotionally unavailable relationship, for example. You know, you're, you're gonna have you have this new start and you have this freedom, but you're gonna have these insecurities to work through that are gonna come with it, of course, because you just everything you just went through, it's it's gonna take some time to heal. Um, this could be fears with this new person as well, being you know kind of afraid that they're gonna do the same thing this last person did, because you know it says here it's like you're uncertain um, what form it will take, what form this new energy, this these new ideas will take, or how they're gonna manifest in the world. So it's it's like there's just this let me read this. I mean yeah, just this fear with with could be with relationships like how is this going to work for me? How is this going to manifest? Is this what is this going to look like? What is this future going to look like? Is it going to be heartbreak again? Is it going to be the three of swords energy again? Like it's just some some worries, some overthinking, some some doubts. 
some some insecurities but i mean you just went through this toxic situation so go easy on yourself it's normal to have that after you get out of something that's toxic it's normal to feel a sense of freedom and renewed passion and renewed energy and and this is this new zest for life and wanting to make your life the best like the best but you still have these these um these insecurities and these uncertainties about the future or you know if you're if you're pursuing new hobbies or new career directions that you you know you just you just cut this out and so it's kind of saying it's it's like you need something when you cut out something so toxic you need something to replace it too you know you can't just cut out an old habit or old pattern and not have a better more positive healthy pattern to replace it you know you you can't cut out an old toxic person and not have emotional support from from healthier people you know what i mean so it's it's like you have to have that that um balance and and there's just there's a lot of new coming into your life and and things were so familiar for you before that I think it's kind of it's kind of scary these life changes are a little bit scary at first and you do have some insecurities about pursuing a new soulmate or pursuing a near career path or pursuing um this new investment just pursuing new things you do you do have some fears regarding that And, um, and that's normal. That's just, that's part of the process. You know, you have a lot of damage that you've got to work through and that might take some time for a lot of you. And then you end up with this, this page of swords energy, which is, this is pure energy, passion, enthusiasm, excitement, um, new ideas. You know, you have these ideas right here about, about, about what you want in a relationship or about this, this new lover you have, or you, this new situation, um, you have this these ideas about where you want your life to go but this is like actually these are you're more confident in these ideas towards you know the, the next like maybe towards the end of of may early june you're you're much more confident in whatever this energy is um you're enthusiastic you're excited you're you're getting past these insecurities and you're letting this energy go um and, and you, there might be some inexperience because I mean it's it's very new energy, and, but you're you're willing to learn, you're willing to put the time in, you're willing, you have this passion and this renewed energy, and so you're willing to um to go forward in your life. You're you're willing to to learn what you need to learn. You're willing to um. I mean, it's just, it's someone who. I mean, it's it's new to you. It's 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 a very new life path. It, it's it could be a very new soulmate, or it could be a very new um career or new situation that you're in it could be a new living situation that kind of thing and it's like you're you're pursuing your dreams and your passions finally and and you're it's it's not familiar to you but you want to learn you want to this 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 new person might not be in your comfort zone they might be something they might be unfamiliar to you but um but you're willing to put the time in to to learn about them and and to experience true love and and to 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 have new much better much happier things in your life you know this person isn't an empress or a high priestess or you know a, a king yet but they're they're getting there they have the faith they're they're learning they're open they're um they're excited they're they're just they're ready to start this new journey and and so this is this is really good for love this is you know, you, you have someone, you have maybe an old karmic partner that you're letting go of and you've got a, a soulmate or a twin flame coming in and this person's going to be much healthier for you. This person's going to, going to be much more, much more solid, much more grounded. And they're going to, they're going to support your dreams. They're going to support you, um, through this pain that you're going through. They're going to, they're going to do all they can to be there for you through, through it. Um, and you're going to be breaking through free from all these all those old toxic habits and you're going to be becoming a new person and and this person this if, if if it's a new soulmate this person is going to want to go on that journey with you this person is is going to be supporting you through that journey what else can i get from this you just have this this new um unfamiliar fresh energy or, or new person coming in but but you want it you know you want you you're gonna want this you're gonna want this this new start Let's look with these cards really quick too okay the past life relationship card wanted to pop out so for those of you and i want to look at the new soulmate not the old person i mean some of you might go back to the old toxic person um and, and ignore this fresh start that you have with someone else. But um, 
but I'd, I'd still rather look at the new soulmate. And and the past life relationship card popped out. You see that this passion, this chemistry, these two, this couple, this couple has. Um, you've known each other before. You know this is a soulmate, or this is a twin flame. This is a this is a good bond. Um, let's take a look. Where is this? What can you tell me about this this relationship? This this new person that's coming in over the next couple of weeks. I think I need to shuffle more because that's not resonating with this reading actually now that I'm looking at it. I think this other person is so toxic that I think that they're trying to... Spirits can do that. I think this other person is so narcissistic, so toxic that, that spirits say they're trying to, to um, mess the cards up and actually stop you from moving on with this new person for a couple of you. You know, spirits can do that. Um, okay, I need to shield myself here. So for this new soulmate, clarify new soulmate, the new soulmate coming in, the new soulmate coming in. What kind of love is it that the new soulmate is going to experience? Yeah, some of you are dealing with a real narcissist that has some pretty intense dark energy and they really want to control you. I got these two cards that just popped out. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. This is a soul connection. This is a past life connection. This is a healthy partnership. This is someone who's going to support you and love you. And they could be the one. This could be this this could be someone you marry. Um, you know, you've you've already met the partner you seek, or you're about to meet the partner that you seek. There's there's someone coming in now that's that's going to um be much healthier for you. And and you could have a, a lifelong partnership if you want to. Let me see, is there anything else that wants to come Let your friends help you. Past life relationship. Make the effort. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna put these all, I'll, I'll, I'll take them out. I'm just, I'm going with what I'm, what I'm led to um, pull out, so. right here they let your friends help you you know maybe you need to get out and be more social and you need to meet people and you need to um if your friends are trying to hook you up with someone maybe you need to go meet them or you need to if you're, if you're letting go of an old toxic ex you know reach out to your friends for support don't keep going to the same toxic person for support and it's 11 11 right now that's awesome this is true love this this energy i'm getting is true love for sure um but let your friends help you. Let your let your friends, let your your spirit guides, let them guide you through letting go of this old toxic person so that you can have this new person that's coming in that's gonna be much healthier for you. And this new person is is a it's a past life relationship. It's someone that you've known um in a past life. And it was, you know, it was a hard road to get there, but it was worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work. You have angels around you, you have your guides around you. And it, it's, I think, I feel intuitively reading this, I feel like it's it's just something that you kind of had to wait for. It's kind of something that you had to, maybe you had to struggle to cut out old toxic patterns of going for emotionally unavailable and abusive people. Or, you know, you just, just had a lot of um, exes that just didn't treat you well, or just, you know, you just weren't happy. And it, and it took some time to really to really get through it, you know, but, but this, this relationship was worth waiting for. And this, this person that might potentially be the one is worth, was worth waiting for. You guys both probably went through a lot to get to each other. And, oh, I messed these up. They're supposed to be that way. Okay. <laughs> and put them back. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So again, you know, ask your, ask for support for your friends. Like maybe you need to bet once, bent, bent once in a while. Um, let your friends support you getting through this, you know, release your ex, do uncrossing work, do cut, cut and clear rituals, 
do um, you know rituals and spells to to release this this old toxic energy and this old toxic person because even if you cut someone out there are still those those red threads um, energetically that that connects you to that person and you have to cut those when you if you're really done with someone you've got to cut those so that you're not still picking up on their energy and, and having them have and having them pick up on your energy as well you want to cut that cut those cords so so this is cut and clear rituals this is uncrossing healing doing that work and then you've got this this new soulmate coming in you know maybe they just went through something similar as well and you have this honeymoon you have this 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 time where maybe you guys are going to travel together or you're going to go on you're going to go on some kind of vacation together but this is just getting to know each other better and and you're in this this honeymoon romantic phase where, where you're just you're really enjoying your time together you're enjoying getting to know each other and there's a lot of chemistry sorry i'm not putting these up right here we go there's a lot of chemistry here there's there's a really good there's a strong man, magnetic attraction here is what it says there is, you know, there's potential here and make the effort. Great love is, is work, worth this take. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Um, again, it might have been a bit of a process, but this person's worth it. You know, this this person was was worth waiting for or worth um, finding, you know, worth going through all the things that you went through to to find true love. Um, you know, great true love is worth is worth um, taking the steps that you are guided to take. You know, make an effort, even if you've got some trust issues from this past ex, make an effort to to put yourself out for this 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 new soulmate. Um, if you know, be intuitive. See, intuitively feel if they feel right for you. You know, like you'll know you're you're. How do, how do you feel when you're around them? Does your body tense up or does your body loosen up? Do you feel good around them or do you feel drained around them? Like really listen to your body, listen to your intuition. Um, really, really focus on, on who feels good for you, who feels right for you on a soul level. And you know, if this soulmate is resonating with you, if they, if there's just all these green flags and you're not seeing red flags, you know, it's saying make the effort, make the effort to let go of the X, make the effort to let go of the, um, the toxic patterns and the trust issues you have in relationships. Make the effort to let go of of all the negativity. Make the effort to let go of um, of your pride, of anything holding you back. You know, make the effort for this person. Take this person out on a date. Um, show up emotionally for this person. Be emotionally available and and really work with this person. You know, as long as they're putting in the same effort. Match their effort is what it's saying. If, if they're putting an effort, if they're trying to get to know you, you know, do the same for them. Match their effort. Try to try to get to know them too. Try to, if they're asking you out, you know, reciprocate if you're, if you're feeling it if, it, if it feels right to you, you know, don't, don't shut out something good for something that's toxic. You know, that's, that's the main thing I get from this reading, you know, do not shut out a good, healthy soulmate for an old, familiar, toxic partner or old familiar toxic energy or patterns that you have in the past. You know, there is new love, new energy coming in and you want to embrace that. You want to ride that wave. You want change. You want to you want to just ride that wave and just go with this change and and take the steps necessary to change your life and um and and take the steps necessary to to trust this new person coming in and and to make an effort for them as much as they're making an effort for you. Okay. Um well, thank you for watching. And also you can, if you'd like to purchase a reading, my information is below my PayPal link and my email as well. Feel free to message me with any questions you have about my readings. And now I'm going to move on to Scorpio. So, I'm going to go ahead and look at the next couple weeks, soulmate and twin flame relationships, see what's going on with them, how they're feeling, what they're thinking, um, what sort of, you know, life changes are going to be occurring for you guys over the next couple weeks regarding um, romance, love. Sometimes I do, I do tend to pick up on career changes as well when I, I add to that, but, but it's, it's primarily focused on love. Let me just wait. Release. So I can cleanse the cards from my last reading. Okay, here we go. All right, Scorpios. OK, 
King of Wands wanted to pop out, so looks like there might be might be some of that energy. Might be someone coming in who's very passionate, very um, enthusiastic. Someone who's a go getter. There might be someone that that near. Um, whether you've met them or not, whether this is an ex or a new person, there's just that kind of energy around. Let me shuffle these. All right, for my Scorpio viewers, what is going on in your love life? Maybe about twin flames, soulmate relationships, soul connections in general. What sort of changes are going to be occurring over the next couple of weeks regarding romantic love? Sort of changes are going to be occurring over the next couple of weeks regarding romantic love. Scorpio viewers, what sort of changes can you expect over the next couple of weeks regarding love? Three of Wands, Three of Swords, Strength, Seven of Cups, Magician. Okay, so the Three of Wands is it's this this conquering spirit it's it's new opportunities it's it's concentration you know you see she's she's standing in water and she's got this, these spiders and snakes around her it's like she's got this toxic kind of energy around her but she's she's strong and she's powerful and she's getting through it and it she's got this skull which is something that just died something maybe a, a partner she just left behind and she's She's in her power, though. She's she's not worried about it. She's looking forward. Um, so, and it seems like the water signs are in similar energy because um, Cancer got a similar read too, where they were also leaving behind a a, a a toxic situation. They were leaving behind something from the past that just no longer served them. Although I feel like with Cancers, they're they're still struggling with it. And with you guys, with you Scorpios, you are. Um, I mean, not that you're not struggling with it, but you are in your power right now. You are strong. You are pissed. You are fearless. You are, you're charging forward and, and you're leaving this old energy behind. You're, you're ready. You're, you're strong. You're, you're a few steps ahead. Um, and there is this, this pain though, with this three of swords, you know, there, there is this, um, this heartbreak or, or loss that you, that you've recently experienced or, you know, maybe give or take a week. This is someone who is brave and confident and bold. And it could also mean, you know, maybe you made this bold decision and you put yourself out there or you just you you spoke too quickly or, or some sort of bold decision that you made that, that ended up causing you pain. Um, and for others of you, you know, intuitively reading it, I feel like it's. It's just this this intuitively reading just her face and and the skull on her hand and, and all the, the little details around her. It, it's like there is pain, but she's. She made the choice she had to make to to let this go, you know, like she's she's proud of herself. She is in her power right now and, and she's strong, you know, this is a little bit more of a gentle energy, but it's it's still a lot of strength. There's this line here, but you see this woman who's a little bit a little bit softer than this woman is, but she's still very strong. She's still learning to set boundaries. She's still very assertive. And the Seven of Cups, we have, you know. This is about dreams, fantasies, illusions. This is, you know, imagination. It's it's needing to make a choice, but being afraid to. Um, we have the moon energy too, so it could be saying that the moon cycles are really affecting you right now. And and maybe if you're if you're into witchcraft or 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 rituals or anything of that sort of thing. It's saying, you know, connect with the moon, connect with this energy and do what you need to do. Um, 
don't get too lost in your head. You know, Scorpios, I do feel like they tend to isolate a little bit and they do tend to, to get kind of lost in their head. And, and it's saying, you know, don't get lost in these dreams. Don't get so lost in your dreams that you forget to go out and, and manifest your goals. Don't get so lost just in these in this sort of this dream state that you forget to go out and, and do what you need to do to actually make it happen. You know, you might be having a hard time um, figuring out what path is best for you right now. And maybe things just kind of feel unreachable, unreachable right now. And you're just there's kind of this like this this energy of, of illusion of, of fantasy. Um, but you've, you've got to make a choice. You, you do have to choose something here. There, there's, there's an energy of love here, but it's, it's not, I'm getting a sense more that you guys are kind of in your independence right now where you're kind of, not that you're not wanting love, but I feel like maybe you just got out of something kind of serious and you're not really looking for that new soulmate right now. Or you, maybe you're looking for them, but you're, it's not your main focus. You have other things going on in your life too. Um, but you have to make a choice, you know, this could be choosing, like, do you want to let go of this person and move forward? Or do you want to, this could be a career choice. It's, it's just, it also could be, I feel like dreaming after this period where you, you had to cut something out and you had to be strong. You're, you're wanting to get in touch with your softer side. You're, you're wanting something a little bit better than what you're used to. For some of you, I'm getting a mix. I'm getting some mixed energy here. And I, I, of course that's, I have different viewers, and so there's there's different messages that I have to give. For some of you, I feel like this is just you cutting out people, cutting out someone, and and you're not even wanting a relationship. You're wanting to to grow and to become independent and and become this magician and manifest the life you want. And you're not really focusing on a relationship right now. You're kind of focusing more on yourself. For others of you, I feel like you did just cut this this person or this energy out. And you're kind of just lost dreaming. You're like, okay, well, well, what now? You know, like I just, I just let go of this. Like I know this person isn't coming back now. I get, I get that they're not coming back, or I get that this isn't happening for me. But, but what now? Like what's next? And you, you, you don't want to get lost dreaming. You know, like you, you do want to dream and manifest what you want, but you don't want to get so lost dreaming that you forget to go out and live and forget to go out and actually talk to new people and, you know, that kind of energy and. And, and so there, there might be a choice to make as well as, as to whether you want to go back to that or whether you want to move forward. And then we have the magician. So, so again, for some of you, this magician is, is you just stepping into your power and just being a badass and just ma ma manifesting the life you want. You know what I mean? Maybe you want to get finances or in order or you want to get this home in order or get something else get your life together a little bit more before you have a relationship, you know? Um, and, and so you're, you're doing that now you're doing that over the next couple of weeks. You're, you're cutting things out and you're, you're strong and you're independent and you're so, so powerful. And you're in this magician energy where you're manifesting the life you want. And for others of you, this is about, um, love where it's, it's, you cut something out and you have some choices to make. You don't want to get lost in dreaming. You want to go forward. But towards the end of the month, you're, you're stepping into this magician energy where you might be, um, you know, maybe maybe affirmations, rituals, spells, love drawings type of spells. You know, you're, you're doing what you need to do to, to manifest true love in your life. And we've got the roses here, too, that are blooming. And we have these, these little white flowers blooming. And she's got, it looks like a star in her hand that's just, she's just, she's just very powerful. She... She's manifesting the the love that that she wants, and and so this is saying, you know, some for if if you want to, the the ball is in your court, basically, is what it's saying. Is is you're making the decisions here. You're going to be really really attractive towards the end of the month too, as you step into this magician energy. You're just going to be drawing people to you like a magnet. But again, I feel like some of you don't even want love right now. So, but it's up to you. You, I feel like you just have so many choices this month. Like, I mean, I mean, towards as you get into this energy, as you as you you're strong, you're letting things go, you're moving on from from old toxic, stagnant situations, and you're you're making your life decisions now. You're 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 dreaming, but you know you need to get out of dreaming and you need to take action to manifest your dreams. And and I think you're doing that towards the end of the month. I think you're realizing that you're realizing that you just can't stay lost in your head. You can't just isolate and just hope for things to just fall in your lap. 
you have to go out and make these things happen. You want a new soulmate, you got to go out and meet people. You got to go out and talk to people. You got to join dating sites. Um, you want a new home, you got to go out and work and save money. Um, you want this new life, you got to go out and make it happen. But I think you're realizing that. I think that you're realizing that you have to take your power back and, and make things happen for yourself and not just dream all the time and just dream your life away. You, you have to actually go out and make things happen for yourself. And, and you're doing that. So... So towards the end of the month, you're, you're stepping in this magician energy and you are just, you're very attractive. You are just, you're going to be drawing in people like a magnet. And again, for some of you, for some of you, I think that you're wanting stability before you start a relationship. You're wanting, um, you might be going out and having fun, but I feel like a lot of you are kind of wanting um, career or job stability or home stability or um, finding yourself or, or doing some maybe like going to college or, or have some sort of skill set or something where you're just you're working on yourself and you're you're happy with that you know you might want someone there but you're not like desperately needing someone there right now because you have so much going on in your life towards the end of the month that you're just you have all these new things happening or or all these these goals where it's it's like you're just you're, you're excited. You're, you're excited and passionate towards the end of the month, basically. You might want someone, but you're, you're just so focused on, on, your, on your passions, your hobbies, your career, your home, just whatever it is that you're, 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 your mind is kind of occupied with that. And so it's, it's, it's a really, it's a good thing. But again, for those of you that want love, it's saying that you can manifest that too. If that's what if you're, you're making, you're deciding right here, you're deciding what you want your life to be. You're deciding who you want in your life, who you want to be, what you want your career to be. You're making these really important, tough life decisions. Um, and then you're taking the action to make them happen. You're getting out of this, this dream sort of isolated state and you're, you're taking action in the physical world to manifest your dreams. And this could be spell work and rituals for a lot of you. I do feel like I have some Scorpio witches that are watching this. Um, and, and so, you know, and if this is a soulmate that you're wanting, it's, it's you're like, okay, where's, it's time for, for me to have this love that I deserve. Where is mine? And, and, and you're doing it. You're, you're manifesting it. You're, it, it's saying you can have whatever you want, whether it's work or career, independence, or if you do want a romantic relationship, you can have all of it. It's, it's up to you what you want. Your life is, is what you make it right now. You know, this is, this is a new cycle. This is, you know, your own, how do I describe it? I'm just trying to intuitively feel like what I'm, what I'm picking up from the card. It's like, maybe like you have this past life power. I'm like, maybe you, maybe you are a witch in your past life too. Maybe there's some energy there where it's like, maybe you have some witchcraft in your, um, Maybe like your family's bloodline, maybe there's like some kind of connection there when it comes to witchcraft or something, and you just have more power than you ever realized. And 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 you're um you're experiencing that now. You're 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 recognizing your power, you're recognizing your potential, your skills, your talents, you're recognizing how creative you are, you're you're manifesting your dreams, you're um you're taking action in the physical world. So it's saying whatever you want whether it's career or relationship or whatever, you, the choice is yours. The ball is in your court. Your, your life is going to be what you make it. You know, and I think that you, you, from the energy I got from the readings, like intuitively looking at the, um, intuitively looking at the pictures on the card, it, it's kind of like this person is, I don't want to say serious, but they, they have a thick skin. You know, this is someone who's um, who's very strong, very confident, someone who's a go-getter, someone who's worked hard for what they have. Um, and that, that woman on the Three of Wands cards was very serious. You know, she was not messing around anymore. She was cutting out whatever did not serve her. Um, but, you know, the magician, too, is it's like the same strength, except it's a little less harsh and cold, and it's more... Um, it's just power. It's just genuine confidence. It's not. It's not faking confidence. It's just this this genuine energy, where you just, where you're just manifesting what you want. So so the ball is in your court. You know, it, it's up to you. You you might want to start thinking about that. What do you really want? Be honest with yourself. What what do you want out of life? Um. I feel like most of you are going to be letting go of the old regardless. I feel like you are letting go of some old stagnant energy, whether you're 
you know, taking a break to be single and to, to focus on career or whatever else or to focus on school or um, focus on just finding yourself and, and growing and, and becoming stable after getting out of that old situation. Um, and then some of you are going to be wanting a relationship. So for those of you that are, are going to be wanting a romantic relationship, what can you tell me about this new soulmate over the next couple of weeks? So for Scorpios, what can you tell me about this new soulmate over the next couple of weeks? I guess these are the cards that wanted to come out because they just all fell out. This could be the one. I got that card for my Cancers too, so it's really interesting. You guys are kind of in similar energy, except you're going out. You're 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 both in the energy. I mean, I think collectively we're all kind of in this energy where we're letting go of the old and we're moving on to to better things. Um, I feel like you're 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 in a much stronger position that way. Like you're 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 going about it in a much different way than they are. You're you're much. Um, you're just more confident, more assertive. You're you're stronger. You're 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 ready for this change, and you're just you're grabbing the bull by the horns kind of you're just like okay this is enough is enough i'm gonna make my life what i want it and you have been lost in this little dream state i feel um a little, a little bit where it's, it's kind of like you've just been dreaming about what you want but i think you're finally starting to realize that you have to take action in the physical world if you want to see real change this soulmate that's coming in though um could be over the next few weeks i feel like this person is coming in regardless like if you if you if you choose to just to find yourself and to focus on career or focus on school right now, you're, you're still going to eventually find this person. Um, be open though, you know, even if it's not the right timing, just be, be open to meeting people. Like if you're, if you're not worried about meeting new people right now, you don't have to go out and meet them. But I mean, just be open if someone does come along, like don't, don't pass up a, a good soulmate just because you're not sure if, if you're ready for it. You know what I mean? Like at least talk to them, at least be kind of open to it, even if it's not quite the right time yet. Um, but this person that come in, is coming in, and, you know, this could be a potential life partner. This could be the one. And you have, you know, these angels around you that are guiding you too. Um, let go of control issues, which kind of it makes sense with the energy I got from the reading. It, this is kind of someone who likes to be in charge, likes to be in control of things, like to, likes to be on top of things. You're, you're the alpha male or the, the female, you know what I mean? You're, you're kind of in that energy where you're just... Or you can be very stubborn, very hard-headed. And um, it's saying let go of that for this person. Let go of those control issues for this person. Um, let things unfold naturally. Do not try to control every little thing. You do have a very dominant energy, which I think might intimidate some people. I mean, it's, 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 if it's who you are, it's who you are. But it's, it's saying, you know, that, that let, let people in sometimes. Trust people sometimes. Um, you know, let go of control, let go of, of needing to predict and know how everything's going to be. Let go of, of having to be in charge of everything, you know, let like have this, this have more of a balance, be kind of a little softer and a little more open and, um, and don't like, don't worry, don't overanalyze, don't get lost in, in your head, don't get lost dreaming about things. Um, actually, you know, there's there's a strong emphasis in this reading of, of you needing to stop dreaming, stop waiting, and start taking action in the physical world to actually make your dreams manifest. You know, you don't want to dream your life away. You want to go out and make things happen. Um, and so when this person comes in, really let go of control issues, let go of needing to know how things are going to be, let go of, um, of smothering energy, let go of fear, let go of, of any blocks, you know. Um, just allow things to unfold naturally. Just just take it slow naturally. Get to know them. You know your your romantic feelings are real and they are worth exploring. There is you know this this is a potential life partner. And just as long as you're able to let go of control and give them their space and and not dominate and not control the relationship. As long as you're able to let them um, be themselves and. Um, and, and, and then have this, this mutual energy exchange of this balance in the relationship. You know, this, this person coming in is not going to be the type that will be controlled. They will not do it. They will not be kept on a leash. They will not be questioned like that. They will not, um, they just won't deal with it. You know, they're, they're just, they're not going to deal with it. This person is, is probably more, um, what's, what's the energy I'm getting? 
free spirited, open, kind of more laid back. And, and so that, that, that control is just, it's not going to work with them. They're, they're, you're, you're probably more dominant than they are. So you kind of have to keep yourself in check a little bit so that you're not, um, not overwhelming them. Like you can still be yourself. You're, you're assertive and you're, you're confident and you're strong. And this person is going to be drawn to that, but it's just kind of like the, the negative side of those traits, the um, the control and the, the the dominance and the 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 walls and the coldness. It's it's those kind of things that maybe if you've been hurt a lot, you're kind of you're more likely to question people. You're more likely to doubt people, and it's just saying don't do that to this person. You know what I mean? Like this is a pretty sweet, laid back person. Don't put all that heavy energy on them. It's not going to go well. You know, this person is the one, or possibly the one. You know, you you have multiple people that could be the one. It's, it's a rare connection for sure, but it's not like it's just this person and no one else. It's, a, it's like that you have multiple soulmates, but this person is, is a soulmate. This person is someone that you could be happy with. If you're able to let go of pride and fear and ego and, and control and all of that, then yes, you, you could have a, a life partner here. You could have a soulmate here that, that's going to, that's going to last. Um, you know, your feelings are real and they are worth exploring. All right. <sighs> Um, thank you guys for watching, and if you want to book a private reading from me, you can check my information below. I have my email address below too, so if you just if you have any questions or anything, you can feel free to email me as well. So let's go on to Scorpios. I meant let's go on to Pisces. <laughs> Hi there, Pisces. Um, okay, so let's see. I'm going to take a look at the next couple of weeks. Re relight my lemongrass over here. I'm going to look at soulmate and twin flame relationships primarily. Sometimes um, work will pop up as well or anything else that you need to know. Um, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It's, it's, I'm, going to ha I'm going to get different specific messages for, for different people. So some of them w won't resonate with you. But I just, I kind of just go with what comes in. I, I channel primarily and I do oracle and tarot readings as well. So I'm going to just, just going to see what comes in for you guys over the next couple weeks. All right, Pisces. Pisces. Let's start with these actually. What can you tell me about romantic love for the Pisces viewers that are watching? What do they need to know about their love lives for the next couple of weeks? Can you show me if there's, is there a new person coming in? Um, I guess these cards wanted to be chosen because they just kind of came out. Actually, I think this is a specific message. This isn't for everybody. This is just for one person here. So let me just read this really quick and then I'll reshuffle. Okay, this is a quick message for one or two specific people. The angel to the new, this is, um, you know, this is darkness, but it's, it's, there's light coming. It, it's like things are, things are darkest, but it's darkest before the dawn, basically. It, it's like maybe a lot of pain or a lot of, um, this could be childhood abuse. This could be um, bad relationships. This just you've just been through a lot in your life, and so there's this sort of dark, painful energy. Um, you know, you have this butterfly up here, but you're not really seeing it. You're just kind of looking down at the past. You're looking down at what you've been through, and you know, the Page of Swords is it's pure energy. It's passion. It's enthusiasm. It's excitement. It's someone who's inexperienced, but they're, they're a go-getter. They, they, they're willing to learn. They're open to learning. They're ready to, to start the journey. And maybe for someone, if, if this is for someone who had an abusive childhood, it's like, maybe you didn't get the life experience you needed to, to really know how to go out in the world and be a successful adult. Maybe you didn't go get to have after school programs that you needed to have in order to, to be able to figure out what you want to do as a career. But you're still you're willing to learn. You're open. You're you're still you're still trying, despite all you've been through. You're you're still trying, and the the main message I'm getting from this reading is, 
Well, okay, the Ace of Wands here is it's it's cre create creation, um, energy, inspiration, ideas, projects that you want to devote to. It's it's you know it's saying you have the key. You can unlock everything. You can you have this enthusiasm and you have this passion and you have this emotional depth because of all you've been through. And and this is you know this is a breakthrough. This is this is like the time has come to to use your skills, to use your talents, use your abilities. Um, plant seeds, make them grow. You know, you just, you have the passion to do it. And with the devil card here, I think it's warning you that because of your life experiences, you, you've been through a lot of pain. You, you have a lot of emotional depth, um, you know, just despite everything. And it's saying, use that passion wisely. You know, the devil is like alcohol or drug addiction or addiction to abusive or emotionally unavailable people, addiction to sex, addiction to a toxic way of being, addiction to lust addiction to um i mean it, it could be drugs and alcohol for a lot of you it, it's it's just like these addictions that, that stem from childhood and it's saying you know use your passion and your creativity and your emotion and your emotional your emotional depth your your life experience all the things that you you gained from your childhood use those more wisely use those um instead of using all that passion and that that depth and, the, and those all your creativity your strong heart heart your strong heart don't use it on this devil energy don't use it don't waste it on alcohol and and drugs and other addictions don't waste it on pretending to be someone you're not don't waste it on um just don't waste it don't waste it on this devil energy don't don't become don't get into this devil energy and just waste yourself away um trying to trying to shut down who you are or trying to escape from your past or um or trying to just numb yourself or or whatever it's like you have so much passion that could go towards things that are that are healthy you know don't let your passion go towards a toxic person don't let your passion all go towards towards drinking and drugs don't let your passion go towards emotionally unavailable people that aren't showing up for you and aren't treating you well don't let your passion be wasted like that don't let your heart be wasted like that you need to protect yourself more you need to protect your heart more and really choose more wisely. Choose your relationships more wisely. Choose your hobbies and passions wisely. Choose what you want out of your life more wisely. Because um, this is someone here who might not have a lot of emotional control. And so it's kind of saying like, again, just don't waste that passion on this double energy. Instead, get into this ace of wands energy. This is creation. This is energy, inspiration. This is ideas and projects. This is This is true love. This is careers. This is... This is what your soul wants. Use use your passion, use your emotional depth for the things that actually resonate with you and are going to make you happy on a soul level. That is really important. Do not waste your pa your passion on toxic, stagnant things that aren't going to make you that aren't going to do anything for you in the long run. Put put your passion towards whether it's school or it's pursuing your hobbies or towards towards whatever um Put your passion and your, your energy and your emotion towards towards better, healthier things, things that are going to make you happy on a soul level. All right. That was a quick message for someone. So I'm going to go ahead and reshuffle because I think that was just for like one or two people. And that wasn't really saying much about love. I think I think if, it, if anything, it was saying, you know, you, you might have a, a codependency when it comes to love. And, and so, you know, you have to work on those patterns and and and, you know, really, really just work on those patterns, work on attracting better people. And sometimes it is a really hard process to get there. But the first step is standing up for yourself and cutting out the people that aren't treating you well. All right, Pisces. So what's going on? Okay. So for the majority of the viewers watching, what is going on regarding what? Pisces, what is going on regarding that? For the majority of the viewers watching... What can you tell me about, so for Pisces, what can you tell me about romantic relationships for Pisces, for my Pisces viewers over the next couple weeks? What can you tell me about romantic relationships for Pisces viewers over the next couple weeks? Pisces, 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 Pisces. Water signs, Pisces. Some of you are almost taking on like a fire sign kind of energy right now is what I'm getting because I keep, I don't know why I keep repeating Pisces. It's like I have to focus on it, otherwise it's just, 
It's almost like you're, you're taking on the energy of other signs right now, if that makes any sense. That's some mixed energy in here for sure. Um, okay, Pisces. Can you show me twin flame and soulmate relationships? Show me what's going on for Pisces romantically over the next couple weeks. Five of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Five of Swords. Judgment. Three of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the Five of Wands here. And this is, you know, this is all about... And I, I always intuitively read this card, you know, it, it's like two people that kind of, they want to talk and they want to work through things, whether that's for closure and to move on and, and be, you know, have a better, have a, you know, like a friendship or a more stable connection, or it could also be just romantically, like maybe you guys are still in love and you are wanting to talk, but you just don't really know how to do it. And you, and you're just, you're just, you're not communicating. This could be, this could be someone who's not answering you or someone who's not reaching out to you, um, and the woman here is, is in pain, but she's kind of just like pouting and sulking and she doesn't know how to do it anymore. She's tired. She's exhausted. She can't do it anymore. And this, this man is kind of tilting his hat like he doesn't see it. Like he just, he's, he's not, um, he can't do it anymore either. It's like you both can't, can't do it anymore. It's, it's, it's conflict. It's tension. It's, it's, um, you know, you need to discuss things and, and find a mutually beneficial, um, situation you, you need to come to some kind of compromise this could be in work or i think for most of you it's in love but it could be at like work like with a with a co-worker or something like that where it's like you're you're just you're you're conflicted with someone and you're just not um you're not understanding each other you're not communicating well you're not um you're, you're not able to find a middle ground with this person you know it's just this this fog it's just this this miscommunication um you know it's 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 this pain. It's like you guys want to talk calmly and and work things out, whether whether it's you know leaving this person behind or in getting closure, or whether it's um, whether it's it's moving forward together and communicating for better, communicating better. I think for a lot of you, it, it is moving forward from this person. I think that maybe it's just you're not as compatible as you thought you were, and you're kind of realizing that now. Um, there's just maybe miscommunication. Maybe it's just, it's not, maybe it's not worth it. You know, for some of you, it might be. So, so again, take what resonates with you. Some of you, it might be worth it. It's a challenge either way. If, if it, if it is someone who's worth it, maybe it's someone that, um, maybe they cheated or something and you're trying to work it out with them. And, and so maybe it's worth it to you. It, it's, it's up to you. It's your choice, but, um, but it's that energy and the page of pentacles is, it's saying, you know, it's in your hands. Like you can, you can achieve this dream. This is, um, this is goals. This is, this is making your actions and your intentions and your desires clear. This is, this is focusing your, your mind on, on what you want. Do you want to keep working through this? Do you want to keep doing this? Do you want to, if this is a coworker, it's like, do you want to stay in this job and keep trying to, to get along with this coworker that you're not getting, not communicating and not getting along with? Or a boss that's not really a great leader. Do you want to stay there, or do you want to go to a new job, um, or career? You know, it's it's like, do you want this? Do you want this? Um, do you want to keep doing this, or you know, same with love. It's it's like, do you want to keep with this mis miscommunication, this misunderstanding, this kind of isolation? It, it's two people that aren't very. They're they're not really emotionally maturely doing dealing with their feelings. They're just kind of shutting down and not talking about it. And even though they want to talk, they're just they're not letting themselves. They're 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 frustrated or they're in pain or they just don't have a lot of hope right now. And so it's kind of it's like, what do you want? What do you want? You have you know you have this woman here who's got um. See, it's in her hands. She has all this light in her hands, and it it's like, what do you? What do you want? What do you want to manifest? What do you want this this light right here to represent? Um, it's 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 in your hands. It's the ball is in your court. Um, you can achieve these dreams, but you're gonna have to to figure out what your goals are. You're gonna have to focus your mind. You're gonna have to make a decision if you want to keep doing this, or you want to move forward. Have to be grounded and focused. Um, 
you, you can't lose yourself in your imagination. You've got to be prag pragmatic. You know, you, you have to, to use your skills, use your talents efficiently. Um, maybe you need to master some new skills. Maybe it's time to learn some new things. Um, you know, maybe this is like an apprenticeship where it's, it's like you're taking on something new. And it, it's willpower. It's, it's having a dream, but but also um, to make you know making the effort to to manifest that dream. Um, this could be starting a new path, you know. And we have the Eight of Cups here, which is <clears throat> this is about escaping. This is a new journey. It's it's you know your whatever this was. It was dissatisfying. Whether this was a job or or um. Or a relationship. I think for many of you, it was probably a relationship. But but this this energy of of miscommunication and uncertainty and and isolation and separation and loneliness and all this energy. You're um with this eight of cups here. You're you're moving forward. You you want to escape this. You want to get past this. You want a new journey. You want your new dreams to manifest. You want new and better things. You know you've been you've been wanting to leave this situation. You've you felt dissatisfied and, and you're kind of taking off the blinders and being honest with yourself with this Eight of Cups and you're leaving this old person or this old job or this old life behind you and you're looking forward. For some of you, this could also mean getting on a spiritual path where maybe you've, you've been materialistic for a long time and you're like, no, I feel like there's, maybe you're having your awakening right now and you're like, you know what, I think that there's there's more to life. I think that you might want to go travel. You might want to just, you want something new. You know what I mean? Where you're like, there's just, there's more to life. I need to leave this old old life behind. I need to leave this old person behind. I need spiritual growth. I need this awakening process. I need new love, new energy. I need better things in my life. I need a better career in my life. You know, you just, you want something better than what you've had. Um, you want someone, you want people in your life that can communicate well, communicate clearly, people that show up for you and make an effort for you. And I think I did mention that I saw cheating. So for some of you, you know, you might decide it's not worth it. If this person cheated on you, they might do it again and it's not worth it. Um, but this energy of the five of swords, you know, see, look at her face. Look how defensive she is. She's, she's got this, I'm, I'm noticing the red pendant, which might mean something for some of you if you have that and it's symbolic to you. Um, think about what that means to you. But she's got, she has to be defensive. She's, she's hostile. She's, you know, she's been betrayed. There's there's conflict, there's cheating, there's distrust, there's aggressiveness. There's um you know, she's it's like this kill or kill, be killed kind of mindset. It's this this struggle, it's, it's it's enemies around you. Um, you know, it's it's backstabbing. It's 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 just someone who's kind of like controlled and kind of just they're they're, they're very defensive and it's it's I feel like that this is this um I feel like you've had to take on this energy around whatever this energy is. I feel like you had to kind of take on this Five of Swords energy where it's like you have to be on guard. You have to be aware of who, who's around you. You got you had some snakes around you. I could also take, for some of this, I, I take this to mean that, that you do decide to leave this situation. You do decide to leave this person and they're pissed and they feel betrayed and they feel like they just never thought you would leave them and they feel pissed. So it's kind of like a warning to watch out. If this person is like a stalker or if this person might just spread rumors about you when you leave, um, there's going to be some drama is, is what I'm getting here. That there, there could be some drama when you do decide to, to get into this Eight of Cups energy and leave this person behind and, and start a new life without them. Um, there's this 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 energy of, of betrayal of, um, of whatever it is, but, but they're going to be judged for it. They're not going to just get away with it. There There is some... There is some judgment coming and you're deciding to, you know, this is also a new beginning. It's, it's like a, it's an, it's an awakening process. It's for birth. You're, you're moving on. You're moving from a drastically different stage of your life to another stage of your life. And, um, and, and so I take this to mean two different things. For one thing, this person that, that betrayed you is going to be judged. They're, they're going to have, they're going to get theirs basically, whether it's in the form of, um, of legal justice or whether it's, whether it's in the form of, um, you know, just a partner that comes along and does that same exact shit that they did to you to them. If they goes to you, someone's going to go to them. It's kind of saying like you actually get to get to have that. That's actually going to happen to them. That that's they're going to they're going to get justice. Um, 
and this is also just saying, you know, you're 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 awakening. This is a rebirth process. You're you have this new beginning in front of you, and you're taking it. You are you're you're not letting this person hold you back anymore. You know, regardless of the drama, you're still deciding that you need to, to move forward in your life. You need better things in your life. Um, you realize that you need a new perspective. Um, you're you're taking action. You're growing. You're leaving the past behind you. And you know, you have this whole new adventure in front of you. You you your future is just open. And and so get rid of of guilt. Get rid of pain. Um, past mistakes. Um, you know, if this person is guilt tripping you, just let that go because they're just it, people. Be, just it's it's you. I mean, it's 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 them. It's not you. If they're guilt tripping you, they're trying to tie you down. Just cut them. Do a cut and clear ritual. Do an uncrossing ritual. Cut them out. You don't need that energy anymore. Um, let go of the guilt and the past mistakes and the pain. Um, just just cleanse yourself. Do cut and, cut and clear rituals. Do uncrossing rituals. Um, this is this is a crossroads, but you're you're making the right choices and you're finally trusting your own judgment. You're finally putting yourself first. Your past experiences made you who are, who you are. Um, And you know you're you're taking what you learned from this situation and and starting a whole new chapter of your life where you're going to eventually be attracting attracting much better people, um, and, and so it's it's like you're kind of looking back and you're shining a light lantern for this person, but you're not you're going forward. you're done you're you're kind of like like maybe no nope, nope you're going forward you're leaving this person behind. I always like intuitively read them and I'm like some people I, I sense them like really waiting I sense it like maybe like a week where you're waiting and you're like maybe uh, kind of on the fence but then you're moving forward you don't want this anymore three of pentacles is you know it's it's new foundations it's it's kind of it's it's the same energy it's like you have this this new start with the judgment card and with the three, three of pentacles this is someone who builds who creates this is a hard worker this is someone who's persistent, determined. Um, you know, you might need to collaborate with others. You know, you have faith and you have hope, but you're putting in the hard work as well to get what you want. This is, um, you know, success in the in the physical world. This is your skills and endurance. This is effort, teamwork. This is um, building something together. So it, it's like you're you're rebuilding. You know. For those of you that chose to stay with this person, it's like you're, okay, you're rebuilding a new foundation. You're trying to work through it. But for most of you, I feel like you're going to be wanting to move on and you're going to want to be building your own foundations, your own um, security, your own abundance. You're, um, you're going to be wanting, wanting to collaborate with, with, with healthier soulmates, with, with better people in your life. You're going to be wanting to, to, to go out and meet new people that are going to be on the same page as you. A little bit more than this other person was. So that's the main energy we have is leaving the past behind. But let me check for for new soulmates coming in. I feel like for a lot of you, it might be a little bit a little bit of a struggle. Um, I don't know why I'm saying that. That just came out. Uh, I mean, I think it's going to be a, a period of, of letting go of the past. I think that there's there's some issues there that still have to be let go of. But let's see. For my Pisces viewers, what do you need to know about your love lives? What else do you need to know about your love lives over the next couple of weeks? Next few weeks, let's say. I feel like I feel like I should extend it because I think for some of you it's gonna take longer than just two weeks, but let's see. Just general energy, let's see. Two, three, four weeks. What's going on with Pisces for the next for the next time period? Healing family issues. Your love life begins as you forgive. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This could be the one that's so interesting because I keep shuffling the cards. And for every single water sign, I've gotten this card. This could be the one. So so you water signs, um, water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You all have soulmates coming in that might potentially be the one. And it's going to be... Um, it's going to be different for each of you. I feel, you know, I, I feel like first, I feel like for some of you, it's going to take a week. For some of you, it's going to take two weeks. Some of you, it's going to take a couple of months. It's it's going to, the timelines always vary. And remember that we have free will and the energy, you know, timelines can shift depending on our energy, our actions, our behavior, our words, and also the other person 
involved, you know, their behavior, their actions, their, their words and their intentions and everything else as well. So timelines can always shift, but I, I see you in this period of kind of healing and, and kind of letting the past go and getting yourself out of a, either a messy, complicated, dramatic situation, or just a situation where you were not being loved correctly. This could be, you know, maybe you just kept kept texting someone or calling someone and they were not really answering the phone. They weren't really giving you much to work with. They were ghosting you. They just, they weren't, there was something, some kind of miscommunication or some kind of unhappiness there. And, and you're letting go of that relationship, but it's, it's going to require some healing. And it's interesting because I got that specific message for someone too, that, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta take what you learned from, from your childhood. Um, maybe, maybe quite a few of you had abusive childhoods or neglectful childhoods. And so that could be why you're, you're still attracted. You've been attracted to these emotionally unavailable and abusive people. And it, it's saying, you know, I mean, some of you might want to forgive your parents, but I, I, I don't believe, I personally don't believe that you have to forgive your abusers. You know, if you were abused, you don't have to forgive them. You really don't. I don't know why people say that. It's it's like you, it doesn't work for everybody. It's what, it's what works for you. If, if forgiveness feels right to you on a soul level, then yes, work on forgi forgiving your parents. But for the most part, I just take this as releasing your parents, releasing, um, if, if there was neglect, if there was abuse, a trauma, whatever it was, um, healing it, releasing it. You might, I feel for all water signs in general, I feel a really strong need for, um, cut and clear rituals and uncrossing rituals and spells and, and that kind of thing. Um, I, I do take clients on for spell work, but I also, I'm, I'm, if you want to comment below, I can just tell you how to do the spell on your own too. It's, it's, it's up to you, but, but I do sense a strong need for, for water signs and, and particularly for Pisces right now to, um, to really just to, to heal family issues, to, um, to, to do the, to do the cut and clear work and the uncrossing work and, and just just letting go of, of the trauma they experienced in childhood and really recognizing that, you know, insecurities and fears and, and all of that just stems from childhood. It's 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 not you, it's them. It's it's their own it's their own upbringing, their own mentality. Don't don't let that stay with you forever. Don't let their abuse stay with you forever. You know, a lot of people also were not born into their soul families this lifetime. From what I have seen, um, you know, a lot of people were born into biological families that that are just not their soul families in this lifetime, and it's a lot to explain. But but keep that in mind that your relatives might not actually be your soul family. You know, some of your soul family could be on the other side. Some could be friends, but you know, you might not by you might you might not biologically be connected to your soul family in this lifetime, which is it's it's okay because you still have a soul family. You know what I mean? And that, that kind of always helped me a little bit too because I was not born in, into my soul family this lifetime. And, you know, it's nice knowing that I will never have to see my biological parents again. Like I really, this is the only, there's no past life connection there. I, I won't I won't be reincarnating with them. It was just, it was this one lifetime and my next lifetime I'll be with my soul family. So so keep that in mind that, um, that you know, soul bonds are, are stronger. They're thicker than, than blood bonds sometimes. And, um, and realize that, you know, your insecurities might just come from, from the abuse that you've dealt with, from this trauma that you've dealt with, realize that, that, that they're not, um, I want to say they're not yours. I'm not trying, I'm trying to understand what I'm, what I'm channeling here because I'm trying to make sense of it. Um, but I guess that makes sense. Understand they're not, they're not yours. They're not your burden to carry forever. You know what I mean? Those, those soul contracts are done with. They're, um, they're just, they're not your burden to carry forever. Don't let this, don't let your, your childhood experiences, um, dictate and, and run your life, you know, and, and it can be really hard to, to rewrite subconscious patterns. You know, it's body language sometimes where if you've been in that situation, you know, you, you might be attracted to abusive and emotionally unavailable people who just aren't giving you what you deserve. And, and so it, it's really, um, it can take a lot of, it can take some work and, and a lot of healing to really, um, to really let go of all that and, and realize that it's not your fault and realize that there's just, there's not, there just might not be a soul connection with your parents or with your family and realizing that, um, that you have to move on and, and cut people out, even if it's hard.
you know, sometimes you have to cut your family out. Sometimes you need to do the cut and clear rituals and spells on your family. Sometimes you need to do the uncrossing rituals on yourself too and, and heal yourself um, and, and, and rewrite these subconscious patterns, you know, see where the insecurities, like where they originate from and, and realize that it's, it's, it, it just comes from, from them. It's probably not something that you did. It's just what people told you about yourself or, or what people, how people brainwashed you when you were growing up or, or what abusive partners said about you. You know what I mean? Just like realize that your insecurities probably might very well mostly come from what other people have or haven't said throughout your life. So um, so, so, so recognizing that really helps because you, you start realizing that like, oh, you actually can love yourself. You actually are a good person. You just need to be around healthier people who see the good in you. You need to be around people that actually support your growth. You know, um, you need to just be around much better people and it's 1222 right now. So two, two, two might be significant for some of you. Might be some confirmation for some of you there. <clears throat> Sorry. So, so really focus on your own healing, focus on, 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 on cut and clear work, on crossing work, healing, um, whatever form that takes. It could be meditation, Reiki, um, going out in nature, um, just binary beats on YouTube, you know, meditative mind and good vibes binary beats are two really good channels I trust that are great for, for, um, chakra clearing for, I feel like a lot of you need that. I feel I feel the lower three chakras for a lot of you, especially the root chakra, because that is your sense of foundation. And when you block that, it blocks relationships. Unclear your root chakras, because that is your sense of security. And if you had a bad childhood, that messes your whole sense of security up. So um, so do a lot of uncrossing work and, and um, chakra clearing work too, especially on the, um, especially on the root chakra. And the third eye chakra and the crown chakra, too, if you saw something traumatic, that can really mess up your third eye and your crown chakra. Um, work on that, too. You know, I sense I, I just looked at the heart chakra for you guys, and I sense a lot of pain. It's not necessarily blocked. It's just in so much pain, and it needs, it needs healing. It needs some gentle energy focused on it. Um, <clears throat> and really, you know, recognize these subconscious patterns. It's It's not that all people are bad. It's just that you've been attracted to a certain type of people perhaps, or you've been attracted to a certain type of friend, you know, and it's not that all people are bad. It's just that you, you have to be aware of your body language. You have to be aware of these patterns. You have to be honest and you have to do the inner healing work, which is really messy. It's not positive thinking. It is not just positive thinking. It, it's it, real healing is messy. It is messy. It's going down to the deep, dark stuff and process, processing it, releasing it. You know, you can write in a journal and burn the journal when you're done it is, um, real healing is messy, you know, do not, be, do not get misled by people in the new age community that tell you that, you know, healing is all about positive thinking and, and love and light and blah, blah, blah. It's, it's no real healing is messy. If you've been through some darkness, there is, there is a healing process. There is a dark night of the soul that sometimes take, takes place. That is, it's, it's messy. It's, it's a lot of, of purging and that can be intense and that can take so many different forms, but, but positive thinking from what I have seen, not for everybody, for, but for me personally, positive thinking is just a lot of stagnant energy that keeps people kind of, um, it's just stagnant. You know what I mean? It's, it's like you're, you're, you're suppressing everything. You're, you're lying to yourself. You're, you're going against what you feel. You know, you got to kind of go with what you feel more and let this out. It's like a flood that wants to come out. And when you, when you try to just think positively all the time, you block the flood from coming out. Um, and, and you got to let the flood come out. You got to let it be messy and be emotional at first. You got to, you got to let yourself go through this messy healing process and you have to re rewrite these subconscious patterns. You got to start being honest with yourself and rewriting these subconscious patterns so that you start attracting better people. Um, work on affirmations, work on love drawing, work on, um, just any, any healing ritual for you is good right now. And, 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 um, and work on, um. Yeah, affirmations, maybe like, maybe like daily mirror rituals. Maybe you have like, I am, I am beautiful. I am smart. I am funny. I am this, I am that, um, taped up by your mirror and you can look at it like every morning and you just repeat that to yourself and you, you start really believing it. You start, you know, you're, it, it takes some time for your conscious mind to really 
to really get down deep into the subconscious and rewrite these subconscious patterns. But that's what you got to start doing. You got to start going out with a different type of people, start going out with people that are not your usual type, start going out with, with the, the good guy that you overlooked or the good girl next door that you overlooked for the narcissistic bitch. You know what I mean? Start going out with the, with, with, with people that there are green flags with. And if you're dating someone and there's red flags, do not ignore the red flags again. Know what you deserve and cut out cut out people that if there's red flags with them, you know, if there's a lot of red flags, cut them out and and know what you deserve and find that balance and um and and really get to know a good person on like a soul level. You know what I mean? Like like the best relationships are when you are just kind of attracted to them at first, but you talk to them and you you get to know them on a soul level and um and you experience soul recognition with them and they just they resonate with you on a soul and there's just all these green flags, all these signs from the universe that say green light, go ahead, you know? And you'll feel it. Trust your body's intuition, trust your just develop your intuition more deeply and be honest about the red flags and be honest about the green flags as well what feels right to you on a soul level. Listen to your body when you're meeting someone new. Um, does your body tense up or do you feel good and relaxed around them? Is there something off? Like look in their eyes. Is there something off there or is there something that just feels good and feels like home, feels right to you? Um, is there, you know, is it another complicated situation where they have another girlfriend or they have, um, um, you know, anger issues or abusive tendencies or whatever, like be honest with yourself, like what's going on with this person, you know what I mean? Just be honest, listen to your body, listen to your heart, listen to every part of you. You know, abusive relationships are mind-based and true love relationships, soulmates, twin flames are, are soul-based, it's, it's heart-based, you know what I mean? People always say, listen to your heart, and then people are like, oh, I did listen to my heart and I got screwed over. It's like, no, you didn't listen to your heart. You listen to your mind. You listen to your childhood abusive patterns. You listen to to toxic people that brainwashed you as a kid. You listen to um to fear, to to ego, to um to fear of being alone, to not wanting to be alone. You listen to fears and insecurities. And you attracted people based on those fears and insecurities and you were attracted to people based off those fears and insecurities, but you know True love is is soul based. It's heart based. It's it's gonna feel right on a soul level. It's a whole different thing. It's it's unfamiliar at first too, and so it's saying once you do this, you know you have someone in that that's that could be the one that could be a potential life partner. Um, you know maybe they were. It says you've already met the partner you seek. Maybe they were right in front of you all along and you didn't notice them because they just were not your usual type. Maybe it's one of your best friends and you just didn't see it before because it's like they're just not familiar to you. But maybe you're gonna go out with them once you really develop a genuine confidence and start developing better patterns. Express your love. Don't be afraid to, to, to open your heart to this person. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture go out there. Go ahead and ask them out. And then you have this period where you're getting to know each other. You're, you know, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, you know, maybe this, this could be someone who, um, I mean, again, I feel like for some of you, this could be a friend that you kind of overlooked, like maybe like a, a, a best friend that's been emotionally supportive and you guys just haven't like really woken up and realized you're like, you know, you, you should marry your best friend. Like your best friend is, it's, it's the person that's going to get you the most, you know? So, but get to know each other, um, reveal your, reveal yourselves to you, you know, take this, this new step. And again, for some of you, it could be someone new. It might not be someone you met, so don't don't take that too too seriously. Because I mean, for some of you, it's it's a it's a close friend that you overlooked, or a coworker you overlooked. But for others, it is a new person coming in, and it's saying you know express your love, um, put yourself out there for them. Get to know each other. Take it slow. Um, for some of you, take it slow. Not all of you, but for some of you, take it slow. If it's a new person, at least. Best friend, I said it's like you already have the the groundwork. If it, but if it's a new person, then yeah, you might want to take it a little bit slower. Um, reveal yourself to them, you know, show them your soul, let them see, the, let, sh let them show you their soul too, you know, deepen your bond, really, um, it says reveal your innermost selves to each other, and as you do that, your bond is going to deep, deepen, you know, you're getting to know each other, you're going out on dates, you're, you're, you're taking it to a new level, and it's going to be passionate, this is, this is an angelic person, this is someone, it could be someone from the angelic realm, allow your heart to, to, and soul to sing with joy, you know, and then that's what I was saying too, 
allow your heart and your soul to be in control, not your mind. Like, I mean, yes, you have to have a balance, but, but what I'm saying is, is don't let your subconscious patterns be dictating your relationships anymore. Choose relationships that are good for you on a heart level, on a soul level, you know, and this is passion. This is true love. This is, and this is giving your relationship a chance. This is, you know, I like how this man was an angel. And then in this person, in this picture, it's like, um, you're both angels now. So it's like someone who's really just like supportive and just a really good person. Someone who's just really good for you. Someone who really loves you genuinely. And it's like this person really helps you get through this darkness. And, and now you're working on your partnership. Okay. Well, I think that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, feel free to contact me with any questions or if you want um, spell work or if you want... Um, a reading or whatever. I have some prices listed below and you can email me too. Have a good day, everybody.